goodness. Hello, New York City and those joining us online around the world. I'm Cody Walker, and I'm absolutely stoked to be here with you for the debut of Nissan's all-new Z. Now, you've been here in the Z Garage, a place where Z's history is here for you to take in. A Z has been a part of Nissan's history for more than 50 years. In fact, I was here in New York for the debut of this car, the 50th anniversary Z. Now, before we step into the future, let's take a moment and hear from the heart and soul of the Z, the enthusiast. I have owned seven Z's. Come May of next year will be the 50th year that I have driven Z's. There has never been a year without a Z. It's just a special feeling when you're behind that wheel. At the core, the Z is a driver's car. You can't get into a Z and not enjoy every second that you're in it. It's just a wonderment. It's just, it's just, it's hard to describe, but it makes me happy. It's an enjoyment place I go to, no matter if I go to the grocery store or I go into work or just go for a coffee, just sitting down and driving my Z or driving any of my friends' Zs. It's just blissful. It's just wonderful. I can distill it down to what Mr. K would say. Enjoy the drive. When you get behind the wheel, there is the ability to feel the car, to feel the track and the road, to be one with them, but also to know that you're in this car that's got style. People will say, you looked good out there. What they're really saying is, no, your car looks good out there. When I'm driving the car, a lot of it, it's, it's, it's like a mechanical symphony, right? So, um, you know, everything just comes together into this incredibly exhilarating and just, you know, I, I call it a bare bones driving experience because you hear everything. In many cases, you smell everything but it, that's what makes it fun. The essence of a Z is fun. Absolute, enjoyable fun. So word is on the street, the new Z is gonna have the twin turbo V6 engine. I don't know about you, but that's kick ass. The new Z, I love the lines. If you look at it from the side, it's got a lot of the retro 240. You look at it from the back, it's a 300. This new Z delivers on two ends. You've got this amazing, beautiful designed car that harks back to its original DNA, but then it has all of this performance that you could want and need that just never ceases to put a smile on your face. Uh, and I think it's demonstrated in the new model very well that they went with a stick shift. Holy cow. It's like, I'm a person that loves a manual. All my cars are manual. I have to have a manual. I drive through the country roads in my manual. It shows me that their goal was to make this a true driver's car, which I think is something that is really missing right now. This new Z will provide the owner with everything that they could want and need. I'm confident that this is the best Z ever. When I was growing up, cars and motorcycles were always a part of our family life. Big topic of discussion around the house. And of course, that got kicked into high gear when my brother Paul starred in a small little movie back in 2001 that created a car culture revolution. My brother used his public platform to start a foundation called Reach Out Worldwide, which brings in volunteers to assist communities with relief efforts after natural disasters. He showed me that we could use this new car culture, not just to enjoy cars, but to make the world a better place. Thanks to his inspiration, I've been a part of the Purist Group for many years, a crew of awesome car enthusiasts that give back to their local communities. And more recently, I started Fuel Fest, an automotive celebration to benefit Reach Out Worldwide. And I hope to see you all at a future event. And I really look forward to seeing as many Z cars as possible at the next Fuel Fest, especially what we're about to see tonight. This is the world debut of the all-new seventh-generation Z. 
the Z has a proud heritage and an insatiable fan base, but it's a demanding audience. So you best make sure each one is better than the one before it. With Z, the bar is exceptionally high. And we know it's the people that make car culture. And soon you'll meet one of the driving forces behind the new Z, Chief Operating Officer Ashwani Gupta. And now, it's my great pleasure to introduce for the very first time to Z fans all over the world, the all new Nissan Z. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome Nissan Motor Company Chief Operating Officer, Mr. Ashwani Gupta. Thanks, Cody. Hello, everyone. How often can you describe a car with one letter? And that letter causes a smile, even joy. It was back on October 22, 1969, at the Pier Hotel here in New York City, that Nissan first showed an attainable and authentic new sports car for the masses, the Datsun 240Z. As a lifelong car enthusiast, it is my great joy and honor to be here in New York, this time in Brooklyn to help write the next chapter of the story with all new 2023 Nissan Z. I would like to welcome all of you watching around the world from Fair Lady Z fans in Japan to the annual ZCon gathering in Colorado Springs. I thank you. When we introduced our global transformation plan, Nissan Next, we set out to redefine our business, our culture, and our product from A to Z. And we have done that here in the United States and around the world. From the upcoming Aria to the refreshed Armada and Kicks, to the all new Frontier and Pathfinder, and so much more. They are all passionately crafted vehicles created by passionate employees like Alfonso Albaisa, our global head of design, and Hiroshi Tamura, chief product specialist for Nissan sports cars, who are both here with us tonight. Alfonso and Tamura-san and the entire Nissan team around the world have one goal to thrill our customers, our friends, and our family. And when we talk about the real thrill, well, Z is the pure expression of thrill. It is a Nissan's passion wrapped on four wheels. When we introduced the Z in 1969, the Z was a revolution. 
Since then, for more than 50 years, Nissan has brought style, speed, reliability, and so much more to millions of enthusiasts around the world. The Z has always been an accessible sports car, always placed at the intersection of aspiration and attainability of dreams and reality. The Z has been raced. It has been cruised. Z has created great memories on epic road trips and become a family legacy that is handled down and restored to glory. Z has become a part of our lives. I'm sure that all of you have Z story to tell, or hopefully more than one. You may have owned or still own a Z, or a family member or a friend drove a Z. In my case, story is little of both. I always get to see the past fail lady Z cars in the Nissan collection. But I got to know the Z best for several years while driving a fail lady Z every day on the roads of Tokyo. Driving the Z makes you feel connected. Connected to the car, connected to the road. No matter what stress is weighing on your mind, you know you can escape with just one flick of shifter. And when it came time for my daughter to choose a vehicle to drive around her home in United Kingdom, she picked a Z. I always knew she had good taste. Since we unveiled the Proto last year, it has been fun to see the excitement and the speculation about the new Z. Many of you are quite good at guessing, but let's make it official. You can see that when we said that the Z Proto was 95% the production car, we were not kidding. From nose, inspired by a 240Z, to its long hood, distinctive profile, and 300ZX inspired tail lights. When you look at this car, only one letter comes to your mind, Z. Like every generation before it, this is a modern interpretation of Z. This seventh generation model retains its authenticity as a pure sports car to keep you connected to the road while bringing in the latest modern technologies to make sure the car can help keep you connected to your life. Inside, you find that combination of new technology and classic sports car appeal. From the driver's seat, you will find a completely modern 12.3-inch digital meter display that has different modes of match your driving scene. When you look to the right, you will find a trio of analog gauges as well, a timeless Z touch. Just below the, these gauges is a standard 8-inch or available 9-inch touchscreen display that will help you keep you connected with the standard Apple CarPlay, Android Auto, available Nissan Connect with Wi-Fi, Hotspot, and more. Under the hood is a twin turbocharged three-liter V6 engine producing 400 horsepower and a 350 pound-feet of torque. It's smooth, powerful, and pulls hard in any gear. Now, speaking of gears, we continue to offer Z owners a choice. The Z comes standard with a six-speed manual transmission. <clears throat> with an all-new nine-speed automatic transmission with pedal shifters available as well. And regardless if you choose to shift gears for yourself or let the car do it for you, the Z is so fun to drive. 
But the new Z isn't just about engine and interior. The entire car, chases, cooling, suspension, steering, have all been tuned by our engineers around the world to make sure that the Z makes the driver truly feel one with the car. It is a true performance grand touring machine ready to thrill Z enthusiasts and create a whole new generation of Z fans as well when it comes to market here in the United States in spring of 2022. I know that you are all ready to come and take a look at this car. And I say this to you folk here and to enthusiasts all around the world, the Z has been and will be always the last word in the sports cars. Thank you. Oh, I just can't get the smile off my face. I am so incredibly stoked on this car. It's something that you've been teasing us with for about 12 months, and you totally delivered. This is exactly what we were shown 12 months ago, and uh, I just can't wait to get behind the wheel of one. Thank you, Mr. Gupta, and all of you guys here for joining us here tonight and around the world. I hope you have a wonderful night. Thank you. Uh, okay. There's